Good morning, folks. We're starting with the latest animation from Goddard Scientific Visualization Studio. Using data from the ISAT, the full video is six minutes long. We've just cut a few scenes here in hopes of inspiring a click to go check out the full video yourself. They're showing some of the dynamics that shape that northern ice block. Runoff, melting, shifts in elevation. The GPM is up running, processing, and returning our first data. This is the upgrade from the Tropics mission, not just in global coverage, but in its imaging capabilities as well. We're looking at the first product, analysis of a tropical storm in the Pacific. Can't wait for the public site's full functionality. Quickly wanting to share a shot from an Astro Observer. Chris has been helping us with a few items and sent in this beauty here. His posts and others can be found in Astronomy Forum. Great to see you guys getting involved. 24 now dead in the Washington mudslide with 100 still missing, and a report from the USGS linked for you below the video. Something potentially important, there will be a news announcement today out of Brazil. They will do an English summary, but if anyone who speaks Portuguese is willing to give me a more thorough review of the announcement, I'll give you a free website membership for a year. More than one person can win it. In last night's news, I offered my confusion at the lack of rumbling on the Western Pacific. Oh. There you are, 6.3 overnight while I slept. It's almost the end of March, but the previous month's climate reports do take a while to come out and we've been busy. The story here is that we were below average temperatures last month, some parts of the country more than others with some heat actually out west and a solid mix of above and below average rainfall. Coming to the weather where Jillian remains in the Indian Ocean, but the top watch in this location today is the Eastern Australian downpours. Ongoing. How cold is it in Western Europe? Don't answer, I know how cold it is. I can see that wickedly powerful high pressure cell that is confined enough to pull clockwise and bring Arctic air almost down to Africa. Bit of a crapshoot here. Nobody's completely out of the woods, but some heavy snow in the normal areas may cause a snarl or two and will be the top watch. Bartol added back the cosmic ray anomaly from two days ago. With no major solar flaring, gamma bursts, or solar wind jolts on the telemetry during that time, I'm inclined to ignore the official shock notice and call this an indication of our weakening heliosphere. This will get more and more common. Point of conspiracy mitigation. You see the arm holding the opaque central disc extending from the 7 o'clock position. Well, when they flip Soho, as they often do, obviously the arm flips sides, and they never ever get this without calibration needed. Always that same shadow right there. Please don't be fooled by this like I was in 2011. I felt pretty silly calling it a mystery planet. Anywho, solar wind telemetry reveals an interplanetary shock that we expected to be minor this morning. Having arrived last night, it was a bit speedier than expected and did cause some instability, but which is now waning, except on the most sensitive space weather devices. Solar flaring? About what's needed to have such a weak heliosphere. No flaring, despite some solid looking sunspots. And solid though they look on the intensity gram, we could do with a bit more magnetic complexity. The previous deltas are all either decayed or turned, and I spot only one potential candidate for that today at the north incoming. Earth's magnetic connection to the sun, however, is at the departed delta, so you gotta watch for limb eruptions there. Southern negative coronal hole is exiting, equatorial positive opening incoming. It is indeed of only moderate power. If we took photos together at the conference, I posted them to the website, suspiciousobservers.org slash conference dash photos. Those who asked about sending them, you can download them right there off the page if you like, and I hope you do. If I can take a quick moment to mention that if you are new to the website, you will see an extra button in the middle of the menu. It disappears after you become a member. And if you are interested in a short evening space weather update, weekly audio podcasts, monthly special features, and a private forum, I humbly welcome you to join our website. It's just 3 bucks a month or 20 bucks for the full year if you can swing the load up front. Thin dark plasma filament snaking around in eruption position. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.